hello dear engineering students welcome back to my channel again hope you are all doing well examinations are uh, very near now you know already okay so you will be having some later on difficulties if you are not started the preparation yet okay so better to start your preparation now only so that you can easily pass uh, physics subject and rest of the subjects okay so today i am with applied physics for uh, civil stream subject code is bphyc102202 if somebody is having backlog also in the first semester so they can also refer this important video or important questions whatever i will discuss here so let me start with the passing module which is a module 4 laser uh, explain the construction and working of semiconductor laser write a short note on population inversion okay this is the super important question if we consider the 18 scheme also this was the important question over there okay semiconductor laser construction explain the construction and working of optical fiber displacement uh, sensor and fiber optic uh, temperature sensor and next we have the super important again define numerical aperture derive expression for the numerical aperture and uh, define attenuation right next is uh, discuss the interaction of radiation with matter and laser action okay sorry this is the uh, interaction of radiation with matter and uh, you have to define the laser action with it okay next is uh, define attenuation in fiber with the expression for attenuation coefficient and describe the various fiber losses okay last question uh, discuss the construction and working of laser in laser range finder and its application in defense okay as you already know in the physics there is the intermixing of numericals and theoretical portions so you should not leave the numerical part numerical part is very easier one it is not like pu first or pu second physics very simpler one only thing is you should recognize uh, what does the term is denote over there in the questions or in the numericals okay so try to write down the given data and rest of the uh, formula you can easily use and uh, get the required answers for the numericals okay so you should not leave the numerical part this was the fourth module now if i talk about another passing module that is module first okay so here is the module first it is again a passing module so explain with neat sketch working of ready shock tube super important one next we have defined shock waves uh, write down characteristics and applications of shock waves okay what is shm and uh, write the different uh, sorry differential equation for shm there is no derivation for it so simply what is simple harmonic motion and write down the differential equation for shm right next is uh, what are forced oscillations obtain an expression for displacement and amplitude of forced vibrations this is a super important one and also i have made separate video for this uh, particular derivation you can go through i have provided the link in the description box and also discuss the theory of damped oscillations hence arrive at the case of critical damping derive an expression for equivalent force constant for springs in uh, series and parallel what is an expression for period of its oscillation this is again an important one and if you are convenient with the numerical part go through it okay if you find some easiness so you should surely go for the numericals also next passing module is module 2 in which you have to cover some important questions like uh, relationship between Young's modulus rigidity mod modulus and Poisson's ratio where symbols have their own meaning state and explain Hooke's law with the help of stress strain diagram define elastic limit okay sometimes they will ask you separate question on this stress strain diagram you have to explain okay next is define bending moment derive an expression for bending moment in terms of moment of inertia and define the following elastic moduli poisson's ratio limit and limiting values of poisson's ratio stress hardening and softening <coughs> right next is write a short note on failures of engineering materials factors affecting fatigue and also you should focus on this much mention a relationship between bulk modulus Young's modulus and poisson's ratio okay and as usual numericals are there i cannot predict the important numericals but uh, in video examination you already know there will not be the same uh, numerical over there maybe uh, the type will be the same but data will be definitely different okay so you should go through varieties of numericals from model question papers or previous year question papers whatever i have uploaded on my instagram account over there okay so you can go through so this was module second and module first and i have discussed module four right now module fifth this is the theoretical part uh, some numericals are also there but uh, you should focus on much more theoretical part over there so define earthquake and discuss four types or so four types of earthquake define landslide and describe the causes of landslides enumerate the causes and adverse effects of tsunami waves hence explain the reduction measures of tsunami okay list and explain earthquake resistant measures explain how remote sensing can be used to detect forest fires 
last but not least describe the preventive and safety measures that can be uh, taken to reduce the risk of fire hazards and as usual i have told you there are intermixing of numericals and theoretical portions so two questions will be from the theory in the first part and one numerical and in the or part there will be another two theory questions and one numerical part okay so you should not leave the numerical part over there next is module third so describe the relationship between luminance and uh, radiant quantities with some relevant points define and explain Lambert's cosine law and uh, inverse square law okay what are reflectance and transmittance how are they measured uh, here we have the possibility define noise discuss the impact of noise in multi-storied buildings okay next is what is a uh, reverberation explain the concept of reverberation time uh, hence derive Sabine's formula for reverberation time okay so next is define acoustics describe different uh, types of acoustics and provide examples for each okay last question what are the essential requirements for good acoustics in an auditorium okay so these are the important questions what are whatever i have discussed in this video so you should go through these important questions you can easily pass the physics subject and provide it to the condition you will go through the numericals also okay so i wish you all the best for your examinations thank you my dear friends